Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy the video, then please consider giving it a like. I create informational videos to help you get better and keep you up to date with everything Call of Duty. So if that interests you, feel free to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you know when my videos go live. Today we're going to be looking at the latest update. This is the May 18th update. Infinity Ward uh, released it last night. Um, I think it was night time in the US and morning time on the 19th uh, in the UK where I am. I've done the update, I've played around with it a bit and we're just going to go through the really big changes. So there's some new maps, there's some new updates to Warzone and there's also some very interesting weapon updates which I would predicted in one of my last videos. So let's get into it. So they've added the Ghost Pack Contingency Bundle to the store which costs 2,400 COD points. This is all just cosmetic items. It comes with a skin for Ghost himself. It comes with three weapon blueprints. Ghostly Premonitions blueprint for the Kilo 141 which looks pretty nice. The Draugr blueprint I think is how you say it and that's for the X16. And then it comes with a blueprint for the knife also. There's also a charm, a quip, a finishing move, and also an emblem, a spray, and a cooling card. So that's quite nice. The biggest addition to new content is the two new multiplayer maps. There is Isle 9, which is a gunfight map, and there is Hard Hat, which is just a standard multiplayer map. Hard Hat is the same map from Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 wasn't one that I played an awful lot of, so I'm not completely used to that map, but I've played a few games on it and I like it. The Isle 9 map, as I said, is a gunfight map. They've done playlist updates for both of these maps. They've added Hard Hat 24-7, which, as it says, is just Hard Hat over and over again with mosh pit modes. And then there's Clean Up on Isle 9, which is Team Deathmatch 3v3, on the new gunfight map. So then moving over to Warzone, they've also done a playlist update. They've basically changed Plunder to Blood Money Quads and they've got rid of Solo Stimulus for standard solos. So the four modes that we currently have are Quads, Trios, Solos and Blood Money Quads. I'm happy that they've changed Solo Stimulus back to Solos because it, I really didn't enjoy it and I do like playing solos uh, every now and then so I'm happy about that. They've also added a new item which can be found via loot on the ground in caches or purchasable at the buy station. This is the armor box, it costs $6,000 to buy and when you throw it down it's just like a munitions box and then your entire team can grab armor from there and it will resupply all of their armor up to maximum so that's pretty cool they've also added the most wanted contract back into the game and this time they haven't removed anything so we've now got four types of contracts they've then done a loot update so they've added the new SKS into the warzone weapon pool They've also updated five blueprints, one for the AX-50, the Kilo 141, the FAL, the MP7 and the AUG. Then quite a big update is with Gulag. So they've changed the guns completely in the Gulag. So now there is no longer shotguns and pistols. It is all assault rifles and submachine guns. The there are six assault rifles that you could get and four SMGs. Those guns are the Kilo 141, the M4, the AK-47, the M13, the SCAR, the Ram 7, the MP5, the AUG, the P90 and the Striker 45. I think this is an interesting change. I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment, um, but time will tell. There are then a ton of general fixes and bug fixes throughout the game, which I'm not going to go through here, but I'll leave a link to Infinity Ward's blog post on it in the description. There are then updates to quite a lot of the guns, and most of the updates are quite small, but there are two that really caught my eye. One of which I was expecting, and I mentioned in my video about the best secondary for Warzone, and I think actually these two changes make that video even more relevant now. 
So the first one is to the Renettis. So the Renettis were quite powerful, just like the snake shots were. I never felt they were as good as the snake shots, but they've reduced the max ammo reserve, so you're gonna have less ammo for the Renettis. They've also increased the hip spread. So when you're firing from the hip with the burst mod, it's gonna be way less accurate. And they've also made a small decrease to the damage that the burst mod has. They've also reduced the damage when Akimbo and the burst mod are both equipped. So this is gonna make them less powerful and you're probably gonna see even more people going with a loadout like I spoke about in my last two videos. They've also updated the RPG. Now this is the one that I predicted would happen soon and was why I wasn't recommending the RPG in that best secondary weapon video. They have reduced the kill radius for players with full armor. So before you just get RPGs spammed into rooms if you were stuck in a building and you really couldn't do much about it. But now if you've got full armor, it shouldn't kill you. I haven't tested this yet, but that's gonna be something that I'm gonna do soon. So that's all the updates I'm going to speak about on this video today. There are loads of updates, other updates that are much smaller, but I think we covered the important ones today. I'm going to include the link, as I said, to the Infinity War blog post so that if you want to go and read about all of the changes, then you can. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. And if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe. Cheers.